Okay, now let's take a look at radius of straight lines. Okay. If let's say we are given point A is x1 y1 and point B is x2 y2. So if we are given these two points and these two points we can form a straight line and we are asked to find the radius of the straight line, there will be M, small m meaning radiant. Radiant equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? Doesn't matter which one is y1, which one is y2, which one is x1, which one is x2. As long as if you decide B is 2, then make sure it's x2, y2. If you decide B is 1, then make sure you put your x is x1 and y1. So let's take a look at an example. Given P, the coordinate is 3 and 4, and Q is Ready for and two. We are asked to find the straight line formed by P and Q, the gradient of the straight line formed by P and Q. So gradient is M equals to Y2 minus Y1. So this is Y2, this is Y1. So 2 minus 4. Over x2 minus x1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 2 minus 4 will be negative 2 minus 4 minus 3 is negative 7 so we got 2 over 7 2 over 7 is the gradient for the line P and Q given by questions R, S, T, R collinear collinear mean, means RST is a straight line. RST is a point in a straight line, meaning it has the same gradient. So these are the coordinates of RST. So how do we solve these kind of questions? So uh, we are asked to find K equals to what? The value of K. K over here, K over here. So since RST is collinear in a straight line, they have the same gradient. So uh, we don't know the gradient, but we can. Since we know they are in the same line, so we find RS, line RS equals to line ST. So RS, Y1, Y2 minus Y1, Y2, K plus 1 minus, minus 2 over 1 minus minus 3 this is the gradient of line RS then we look for ST so Y1, Y2 uh, Y2, Y1 so 2K plus 1 minus K plus 1 over 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 like RS, like ST, they have the same gradient because they are collinear. They are the same line. So let us expand it. K plus 1 minus minus become positive. K plus 1 plus 2 will be K plus 3. Minus minus become positive. 1 plus 3 is 4. Equals to 2k minus k is k. 1 minus plus 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So only k. 3 minus 1, 2. So cross multiply 2 multiply k, 2k. 2 multiply 3 will be 6. 4 multiply k will be 4k. So there will be 6 equals to 
to moving to this side will be negative 2. 4k minus 2k will be 4k minus 2k will be 2k. Therefore, k therefore k equals to 6 divided by 2 equals to 3. And let's take a look at equation of straight line. There are three forms of equation of straight line. So first, gradient form. Y equals to mx plus c. M is gradient and c is a constant. In general form, it is ax plus dy plus c equals to 0. Where a, b and c is a constant. In intercept form, x over a plus y over b equals to 1. Meaning, on x-axis, y equals to 0, x equals to a. On y-axis, x equals to 0, y equals to b. I know it sounds complicated, it's okay. Let's jump into the example so that you understand more. Okay, given by the questions, two point, point A, minus two, minus three, point B, minus four, seven. Let us generate the equation of the straight line using these two points and we generate into three form, radial form, general form and intercept form. Okay, let's start with gradient form first. Gradient form. So, y minus, we pick any one, or pick any point, either a or b. Let us pick a. y minus, minus 3 x minus minus 2 equals to this side should be the gradient okay gradient so should be 7 minus minus 3 7 minus minus 3 over minus 4 minus minus 2 Minus 4, minus, minus 2. So here we become y minus minus, become plus. y plus 3, minus minus, x plus 2 equals to 7 minus minus 3 is, 7 plus 3 is 10. Minus 4, minus minus, become positive. So, Negative one plus uh, negative four plus two is negative two. Here become five. Here become one. So end up become negative five because here we have a negative. So cross multiply. So here we become y we made as y plus three equals to negative five multiply x minus five x. Positive 2 multiply negative 5 will be negative 10. So in gradient form, we need to put it in y equals to mx plus c. So we leave y at the, at the left hand side, 3 will move it to here. So negative 5 will be made. negative 10 minus 3 will be negative 30. So, this is the gradient form. Now, let's take a look at the general form. General form is x plus dy plus c equals to 0, right? So, we have here. So, meaning we have to put 0 at the right hand side. So, everything move back here. So, we y minus uh, 5x will be plus 5x 
minus 30 will be plus 30 equals to 0. This is a general form. So now take a look at intercept form. How do we convert this and this into intercept form? So these two are the same, right? So we turn it to intercept format. So intercept form. So we know. Let's use general form to turn to intercept form. Y plus five x plus thirteen plus five x. Plus 13 equals to 0. So notice only x and y are at the left hand side. And then the constant is at the right hand side. So put it this way y plus 5x equals to negative 13. Correct. Right? So the constant remains as 1. So the whole thing, left hand side and right hand side, we divided by negative 30. So that the right hand side will remain as 1. So y divided by negative 30 plus 5x divided by negative 30 equals to negative 30, negative 30. Negative 30. Right, every part we add negative 30. So, end up here we become 1. So, we will get y negative 30 plus 5x negative 30 equals to 1. I notice the intercept form 1x, 1y. We have 1y here, but however, we have 5x here. How should we change it? We we'll make it like this. Y negative 30 plus x negative 30 divided by 5 equals to 1. Right? So this one and this one is actually the same, right? Because you can see here, this is the final answer. Because you can see here, this one, you can change it become x dy negative 13 over 5 right then this is also equals to x multiply 5 over negative 13 and we multiply it it still become 5x over negative 13 which is the same as this one Given by the questions, 4x minus 8y plus 7 equals to 0. This is the equation of the straight line. We are asked to find the gradient of this straight line and the y-intercept of this straight line. Okay. So, this one. Do you still remember the general form of gradient form for the straight line? Is y equals to mx plus C where M is a gradient C is a constant so from here we convert it we can convert this general form to gradient form so that we can get a gradient so how do we convert this Y we put Y at the left hand side the X and the constant we put at the right hand side so here here we go Minus 8y equals to 
four x move to the right hand uh, right hand side minus four x seven minus seven left hand side only minus five so we move the negative eight to right hand side so we y equals to negative four negative eight x minus 7 minus 8 okay so here we get y equals to 4 is 1 this is 2 okay is 1 over 2 x plus 7 over 8 negative and negative become positive so therefore gradient is equal to 2 sorry it is 1 over 2 ok the gradient is 1 over 2 over here and this is 7 over 8 is a C ok now let's look at Y in the set what does it mean by Y in the set x-axis okay y intercept mean the line intercept at y-axis meaning x equals to 0 just here x equals to 0 what y intercept so when we know x equals to 0 so y intercept equals to b bring it using these equations when x equals to 0 y equals to 1 over 2 multiply 0 plus 7 over 8 therefore y in the set is 7 over 8 y in the is 7 over 8 and if you have any questions regarding this subtopic feel free to comment below this video and we will further explain it to you